So it's a welcome back to VP4 TV. It's a really wet Sunday afternoon here in Scotland and uh, this is just a quick word about the upcoming match we have in the Virtual Black Ball World Championships. The 2023 Virtual Black Ball World Championships. We know what we witnessed. Well, some of us still can't believe what we witnessed the other night in the hot seat match between Semi Pro and Real Poland Power. But there's one player out of that match who is really wounded from how he how he managed to lose what seemed to be an overwhelming winning position that he had. He was ten five up. He had an 8 ball into the side pocket to be 11-5 up. I said there's no way semi-pro can win this. And Stubb set out after that comment, after that statement, Stubb set out to prove me wrong. And st somehow he managed to lose the match. And he, lo he, he lost it in the, one of the Probably the most humiliating ways. Um, he had an attempt to break out the eight ball. Uh, I think it was his yellow, and I'm, I might be wrong, but I think he was cutting his yellow into a corner. The, there was a red next to the eight ball, and it, the eight ball wasn't accessible, so he had to break it out. Now, all it needed was a little nudge. You had to hope you got a nice roll that you'd still have a shot, but... That would have been the sensible thing to do. What does Stubb do? Gives it a blast. Uh, he, he pots his ball. The cue ball slams into, I think, the red, which then goes full pelt into the eight ball. The eight ball goes off the, the long rail in the side and then into the opposite side pocket. And Stubb loses a match 13-11. And it could have went hill hill. He had the, he had the, the rack in his grasp if he'd played the sensible breakout. And now he finds himself in the one loss side. So Stubbs' task in VP4 becomes even more difficult. He's still looking to win his maiden virtual world championship of whatever description of, of game it might be. Uh, it was either, uh, I think it might have been the 10 ball. He was playing, Vince says he'd got to the final. And you know, just to make matters worse for Stubb, he's been in he's been in the ten ball final with Vin says he's been in a winning position. He was on the hill. He was at least three racks in front of Vin says. Vin says was dead and buried, and yet Stubb found a way to lose and lost in the final rack decider. He went all out. For the pot, I remember the shot. It was difficult, but Stubb only knows one way to win, and that's just all-out attack. He went for a really tough shot, and that was his last shot of that event. So he ends up on the losing side in that final against Vincennes. And Stubb's task couldn't be even more difficult, because having just lost to semi-pro, and uh, me having got home today, I can now see that the schedule has been updated and Stubb's task gets even bigger because Stubb has to win another two matches in this event. He has to overcome the most decorated virtual pool four player in terms of championships one, Albanario, uh, the best all-round player in virtual pool. Uh, I don't know how many people would want to argue against that, but he is. And Stubb's task gets bigger because not only has he got to overcome Albanario in a race to 11, but he's got to do the revenge match against Semi Pro if he gets through this in the final. And of course, the final uh, is a race to 16. So the match goal goes up, but Stubbs' task couldn't be any more difficult. Is he, is he going to bounce back? 
That's the question. He has been severely bruised, severely wounded from his efforts the other night. He's had nightmares about it. He won't admit it, but he can't. He probably, he probably can't believe what he did in that final rack to manage to lose the match. Semi Pro doesn't know how he got to the final. He's got no clue. Semi Pro was making far too many mistakes to be a champion. That has to be pointed out. If Semi Pro's standard is like he played against Stubb with all those errors, then he ain't winning it. Uh, Albanario is too good a player to let you off the hook that many times. But who is going to get through? Well, the best way to find out is to join us in VP4TV. Remember, we're streaming on YouTube, on Twitch, on Kick, and on my VP4TV Facebook channel. So wherever you are, whether you can be here or not, you should be able to get a view of the live stream. I will be there on Tuesday evening. It's at 7 p.m. GMT. That's Tuesday the 12th of December. Uh, is it going to be an early Christmas present for Stubb to overcome Albanario? Is Albanario going to put him to the sword? That's the questions that we're all asking. And I'm certainly going to be looking forward to it. Stubb, I'm sure, wants revenge. But I think, I don't know whether he's got the game to hold out to overcome Albanario and semi-pro. I think Albanario is too wise. Is he going to get enough luck, Stubb? Because I think Stubb's going to need enough, more than enough luck to overcome Albi. But you never know. That's the beauty of the game. Uh, if, but for Stubb to come through this match and then beat Semi Pro in a revenge match, I think would be a huge achievement for him. Especially when it would lead to him winning his first title in Virtual Pool 4. So good luck to all the remaining players. Semi Pro can sit and watch. Uh, he won't care who he plays. It should be. A good match, whoever it's going to be. I just think that this is one step too far for Stubb. And it's up to him to prove me wrong in a good way. Not prove me not prove me right in the wrong way that he did the other night. My prophetic statement of there's no way that semi-pro should get out of this. He shouldn't win this when he was about to be 11-5 down. But then Stubb managed to miss the eight ball and then things turned and it turned in such a bad way for Stubb. Well, he's got to look on the bright side. That's him had his really bad match. It couldn't have been any worse than it. So surely he's thinking it can't it can't be as bad as that against Albanario. So we'll find out on Tuesday. I hope you can join us and uh, we'll see you there.